Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight video. Today we have with us Galaxy Nick and his Evil 3 Water Arthur. So he actually requested that I do a spotlight on this monster. And I decided to actually try it out in B8. Because um, if I was to get a Water Arthur, I think that would probably be where I would use him the most. He does have a very, very nice morale boost of a 50%. So it means that he's going to be able to get his bar very, very soon. He's probably the... Uh, one of the best monsters to get early on if you want if you want to speed farm B8, especially if you don't have siphoning gems, because you can rely on his morale boost. If you're lucky, you can actually get his AOE in turn two. If you're um, not that lucky, then you're guaranteed to get his AOE up at, on turn three. So that's actually really really good. And then once you're you start spamming your AOE skills, your whole entire team is going to get their blue souls back and stuff like that. So it's going to be very, very nice, um, especially if you have other monsters that can boost bars like the Light Succubus and stuff like that. Um, you know, the Light Succubus was in a package a, f a few few weeks ago, so a lot of people do actually have her. I was thinking maybe to, yeah, maybe I, maybe I should like try, try stacking some, uh, some morale boosts and, and try to get his bar up as fast as possible. And then we can try using him to speed farm B8. Um, currently, he has him on double attack, uh, double attack, uh, one slot HP on conviction. I think this has a little bit of crit rate. Um, doesn't really need that much crit rate. This one actually has really nice crit rate. It's got 21%. So he does have like around close to 50% or 40%. Yeah, crit rate. But it doesn't really matter because he's not gem for crit damage anyways. The the crit rate's more more of just a bonus. So we're we're just gonna try this out and see if um, he can farm this really really fast. I'm not sure who else to use. Maybe I should like stack one more attack bar boost. You know that actually might be fun. Stack another attack attack bar boost, and then do like a attack lead. I think that might be that might be really good. I can do like attack lead, and then. Um, like double attack bar boost to try to make him as strong as possible because he's he's going to be the one carrying like just with two two slots attack he should be one shotting everything in this dungeon especially you know at evil three um i think at evil two if you max out both his attack gems or if you go like triple attack then you can definitely one shot everything as well so that should definitely work um uh, this is probably not uh like nobody's going to really have a team like this but um, this is just kind of for fun to see if I can get his at attack bar up by turn 2 and see if he can spam his AoE really, really fast. So these guys are all just supporting him and he's he's j just going to be the one that's going to be um, spamming non-stop, alright? Alright, I hope this works. I really do. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. It's like eight eight K on um on a non crit. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna slow it down. Um But he does Arthur's at Evil 3 do do four hits. They actually get more hits as you as you evolve them. So that's actually pretty cool with the Arthurs. Alright, let's see if this can uh Yeah that he has enough damage on his AoE to basically um Yeah, basically completely <laughs> completely kill them. And then with his 50% morale boost, even if he doesn't get the blue souls back, he should be able to get a little bit of blue souls. And then um, on the next turn, he, he'll use his first skill, boost up his bar, and then get a full bar again to, to do his AoE. So that is definitely really nice. See if I can uh, generate some blue souls on this turn. And the next turn, get his AoE up. Oh man, unlucky. Ooh, but we did kill that golem really fast. All right, that was that was a little bit short. That was actually a little bit short. Um, but I think I think it's definitely really really possible to use a water Arthur, especially if you get him early on to use him for like speed farming, speed farming B8, because he, you he, he's balance type. It means that you can gem him up any way you want. Like if you want to use him for PvP. Um, you can definitely gem him really tanky. Early on, if you happen to pull him for like an early game player, um, and you're you're starting to farm BA or something like that, or if you already have a BA team, you can actually add him to your BA team, and he can actually provide a lot of um, well, not he won't necessarily provide more damage, but what he's going to do is he's going to be able to get his AOE up a lot sooner. Meaning that um, because BA is already like the mobs are so squishy that you basically kill anything in one hit, anyways. 
So the, the whole purpose of having the Water Arthur is basically to use his morale boost to get his bar up as fast as possible. He he's also has he also has a lot of um well I wouldn't say like super high base attack, but it's actually pretty good. Like even at two stars, like two thousand two hundred, if you compare that to well actually it's 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 lower than um you know Mona and stuff, but the the good thing is he has like a fifty percent bar. So if you put like um, three slots or three three attack gems on him, um, even at Evil two, he'll be able to do enough damage to basically one shot anything, and you don't have to really worry about putting like a tanky gem on him because uh, he is balance type, so he has much higher base defense than an HP than attacker type units. So yeah, that's that's pretty pretty much it. Um, yeah, thank. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks Galaxy Nick for um, letting us spotlight your water, Arthur. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.